Hey friends, Jeff Fritz here, and I want to talk to you for a little bit about Aspirify.net and some updates that I wanted to put in there to make it a little bit easier to visualize some of the things that are going on with the website. I built this as a news hub with .NET Aspire to tell the story about all the great places in the tech community that you can learn about .NET Aspire and use it to make your lives easier and your development tasks so much more fun. So I've got this website sitting out there at Aspirify.net and, and I wanted to add a dashboard to it so I could visualize and see what's doing well and share information about content and how it's being received and interacted with by the community. Well, we've got some folks out there that have tools available that I can use for free to integrate and start working with and explore what kind of solutions I can deliver using their tools. So I, I grabbed my favorite progress software, Blazor components and charts that I can use to build a dashboard. And I also grabbed the Iron Excel component so that I could put together some spreadsheets with charts so that I can show exactly what's going on in a nice format that those folks in my marketing department can check out and get the feel of. Let me show you how a little bit of this works. So Aspirify.net is, is built with Aspire. And here's some of the features in an Aspire dashboard that go together to make this website work. So I've already got my local version of the website running over here, and it doesn't quite have all the images and things, and that's okay because I'm just running with a copy of things here locally. But I'm already logged in, and if I go over to my admin page, now I've got a dashboard that loads really quickly and presents some of the information about the state of the Aspirify content as of here in eh, mid-July 2024. And you can see I've got a nice bar graph here of some of my most popular articles that folks have viewed. I've got a little donut chart here that shows my new versus returning viewers coming to the website and a nice line graph that shows how, how many people are coming through and viewing the website each day. I also built a little export to Excel so I can take this series of graphs and turn it into the raw data so that folks in my marketing department can take a look and work with it. So you can see inside that Excel sheet, I've got a workbook with three pages that have different bits of information that those folks are going to be interested in. Here's the number of visits per day that we were seeing. Here's a list of popular articles on the website and a little bar graph that shows all that same information we saw in the admin panel. And I've got a little page here of metadata that shows a little pie chart that was all generated for me by Iron Excel and placed inside the spreadsheet for me. So I've got two views of the same data, one built with Blazor components from Progress to paint on the screen, and I've got this update that shows some of the data in an Excel format that I can share and pass around easily to my colleagues. Let me show you how some of this works. So here I am inside that dashboard razor file that painted on screen for the website. And you can see I'm using a Telerik tile layout that has a couple of other components embedded inside of it. Each one of those cards is a tile layout item. And I've put each one of the graphs inside of their own child components here named appropriately that have other content that it renders and manages inside of there. So if I jump over to, let's say, the page views component here, you see it's a Telerik chart, and it has all the configuration for that line graph that we wanted to draw, including down here all the information it needs to go get that from my repository, go get that data from the repository, and paint it on the screen. So I've got a couple other components like that, and I've got to admit, there's a really great demo that's available from our friends at Progress Software as part of the demos that you find here on their website for the Blazor tile layout that shows a number of these interactions. And it's real easy to see the source code, take some of these ideas and adapt them to your needs inside of your application. So that's what I did. And it looks good. But I wanted to get that Excel export so that it rendered and delivered content nicely. So I put a button on the dashboard 
that would allow it to click and export as Excel format. And this export comes over here and creates a workbook and has an author and some metadata here and it creates those worksheets that appear inside my workbook. Real easy to see how it goes and gets the data and then paints each one of the elements, the cells inside the sheet. And I've, I've got it auto sizing some of the columns so it feels right and, and the, the spreadsheet has things sized appropriately for me. And then I create that chart that appears on the worksheet next to my data. And I do that a few times for each one of the worksheets that's an involved in this little export that I have available. When I'm done, that dashboard has a method here that turns it into a stream and then has some JavaScript that'll stream it as a download right to the browser so that folks can download and present it and share it to their colleagues. Really cool stuff. Those Blazor components, the charts that you saw me use, they're available free for 30 days from our friends from Progress Software. Check it out. Really great stuff there. They've got a fantastic support forum that you can reach out and talk to other developers and even the support folks who will get back to you right away to help you out if you have any problems or challenges that aren't in their documentation or their samples to help get you successful. And of course, Iron Software has their Iron Excel component library that you can use to both read Excel documents and export them. You can build worksheets, workbooks, charts, set up formulas to interact, and set up the formatting as you need it inside those Excel workbooks and worksheets. It was really great working with these two sets of components, getting them to work together and do some cool things to help support the Aspirify.net website. Hey, do me a favor. Click that subscribe button if you like what you saw here. Click the notification bell so that you can be notified next time we have another episode go live with some other really cool integrations and interactions with components and things that you can use with your .NET projects. Thanks so much for watching.